there are two reasons to be happy when you come to the gym one when you are losing weight two actually three reasons reason number two is when you put on good muscle and reason number three is when no one is in the gym the entire gym is completely for yourself like a private gym let's rock it today's chess day let's hit hardcore three two one Right, done with a great workout, nice heavy intensity. Now all this is okay, but I have to do something very important now. I told you right, my BMW 1250 car insurance is expired. Now I need to go and click some pictures of it because usually before, uh, when insurance is expired, you will need an inspection to be done. Luckily, now technology has improved. All I have to do is click some pictures from here itself and send it to the insurance people. But then I'll have to add a geo tag location and all that stuff. But at least works become simple. Let's go get it done because it's almost one month since my insurance expired. Very important insurance. Okay, I'll have to do one thing. It's too dark in here, so I'll take it outside, or maybe where there is a little bit of extra light because we need some very clear pictures. Oh my God! Excuse me with the sweat coming from the gym. So, and the good thing is I need not get out the key because key is inside my gym bag. I can just directly sit on it and switch it on and go. Full on comfort. I mean, you pay, you know. Now I need to find a place where there is good amount of light. Oh yes, I see a lot of light there. This is more than required light. Let's click some pictures. Oh my God, bike looks so amazing here. Man, this really, really scares the shit out of me. Last night we took Naisha and went to the shopping mall. And as usual, she wanted a balloon. But till that gas dies in that balloon, I'll have to keep facing such issues. Kabi kabi bathroom mein. Sometimes when I'm taking an afternoon nap and slowly open my eyes, it is right in front of me. It is scary, yar. Yeah? Guys, welcome back to the channel, guys. What's up, guys? Kya se ho? Hello, and I hope everyone is doing great. Finally, 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 we got the BMW 1250 insured. Almost after one month of expiration. Now I have that peace of mind to take it out. I said that to be honest, we did not take it out all these months. Now I actually have plans to. At least go for breakfast rides before starting the actual proper rides. And second, extremely important thing than anything else, more than the insurance of the 1250. Yes, all the documents are in place. We have to go for the registration. Finally, after almost two months, I was waiting for the number. Like I told you before, in Telangana, the registration process, the permanent registration process, is kind of different from the rest of the states. Basically, when you buy a new vehicle out of the showroom, they will give you a temporary registration, which is valid for I think one month. Within those thirty days, you have to go and get it permanently registered. But I was waiting for a specific number. Yes, you can pick numbers by paying extra money. Usually, I'm not into numbers and all that, but we got a X4. I thought a number should look kind of good at least. If not for a very random number, so I was waiting for that, but there was a small complication. You know what happened? My dad's number was there when we bought this vehicle. I don't know why it did not accept my personal number. It took my dad's number. An OTP from RTI goes to the registered number, and then I realized that my dad's phone is with him in Canada. He did not get any OTP because international roaming was off. Apart from that, when we did that at 10 a.m. here, there it was like 1 a.m. in the morning. Obviously, I was sleeping. Too much of complication, and finally, I lost the number. So again, I activated international roaming on his phone. Asked him to keep it on, and yesterday the registration process went through. This is online process now. For the offline process, I have to take the car and go to the RTA, which is literally 40 kilometers away. I'm in the end of this part. I have to go literally to the other end of the city. But still, we have to do it. So let's go and get this done. So by the way, iPad start. Hmm? Not good. What is it? Can you see how? Can you see? Hello. Lovely. Hope everyone is doing great. Great. I think the amount of work I have with vehicles, buying and selling cars and buying and selling bikes and all that, I think no one on this planet will have so much. Why does this always happen? Ding ding, lift the sound. Whenever I try to vlog, oh, I know why. Because near my old house, it is always the flight or dogs or construction, कुछ ना कुछ disturbance here, construction भी है, along with it, this lift का noise. Something or the other disturbance should be there to disturb Shima Kodaru's vlogs. Taking my laptop as well. I have some work. I have to do it in case we get some time in middle. I don't think it'll happen, but I'm pretty excited to drive the BMW after a long time. It's been more than a week now. The reason not taking it out is because it is not registered. It's 
it's been exactly a week since i've taken the car out the reason for that is when your car is not permanently registered the insurance is not valid remember this in case you people are not getting your car registered after the temporary registration see temporary registration time mein that one month ko your insurance is still valid but after that if you don't get your permanent registration done after 30 days 31 day onwards your insurance is not valid kuch ho gaya to car ko which accident anything that insurance covers it is not going to cover so keep that in mind and enjoy i mean of course this is all for telangana i don't know how this works in other states let's go get this thing done and come back only thing is this is pretty far i need to go literally cross my old house and go almost 40 kilometers from here it should take me one or 10 minutes After driving the Verna for all these days, I have to say this: there is a lot of difference, yar. Even whenever you take out these different cars, you keep boasting about the BMW. Trust me, when you also own a BMW, you'll understand what I'm talking about. There'll be a major difference, like so much of difference, yar. It's at least two or three times better of a normal car, but definitely doesn't justify the price. Easy RT took me around one hour. Not much of traffic because it's morning and this is going outside the city. If you're going into the city, then you'll have traffic. But I think while going back, we'll have some traffic. I'm waiting for my agent. Once he comes, let's get it registered. I'll have to take a picture and all that. So I'm trying for a parking. We'll have to take a picture, then take it to the inspecting officer, and then registration is done. Okay, photo session done. They gave me this receipt, and now I'll have to take the car for the inspection. That will take another 20-30 minutes. Okay, I'll have to wait here for some time. Meanwhile, I wanted to show you some fancy features of the BMW. It is not a fancy feature. Most of the cars have this, the voice commands, but it is pretty accurate. Well, for example, hey BMW, hey BMW. Why does this always fail when I'm trying to record? Other times it is so nice and so efficient. Seriously, dude. Hey, BMW. Hello. What can I help you? What is the tire pressure? The current pressure is all right for all tires. Mm, that's good. Now, so Iman is always talking about good things, but what are the bad things that I don't like? I would say the horn is very tight, yar. Which is kind of nice because it kind of discourages you from honking all the time. But then cities like Hyderabad metro cities, you need to honk a lot. When I try to honk, this is a corner you need to use to honk because center meter doesn't even move. Here, when you put like so much of pressure, then it moves a little bit. The BMW's horn is the tightest possible. So people who are wondering what is happening here in Telangana, first step is to click a picture. After that, the second step is to come here and wait for the officer to come and inspect. He'll cross check with your chassis number, your engine number, and all that. That's what is going on right there. You see that he's checking the chassis and engine number. The police right there. And after that, you are finally done. It is permanently registered for the rest of its life. Okay, done. Finally, done. Registration done. Permanent registration done. We have to say so many times done, done because this has been so pending and it has been eating my head. Yeah, especially when insurance is not valid. You have a luxury car. So does a scratch or dent will also cost you a bomb. Your wallet will cry like crazy. Now I am properly relieved. I'll be there for another one and a half hour to go back home, literally to the other end of the city. But before that, time is already twelve o'clock. So maybe I'll have some lunch and go. Hey, look who's here. By the way, our registration is done finally, and I was just telling Charan. Number is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Today, so registration happened, right? A funny incident happened. The inspector who comes to inspect the car, he was asking the agent, "Is this modified mm. because of the color?" I've never seen a BMW in this color. Uh, I've seen couple of BMWs every day. Black and white. <laughs> black and white. <laughs> What is this color? He asked. Is it there, like really on the invoice? He actually took my invoice and checked. It looks like a proper modified color. Even the wheels, black alloys. So that felt good actually. That means ours is a very unique car. Simon, I think you have to stop saying things because everything is happening opposite to what you're saying. Recently, I said the monsoons are almost here and all, but look at the temperature my car is showing. Literally 40 degrees, dude. You see that? For 40 point oh, exactly 40 degrees, dude. It is hot. 
ओके रीच होम फाइनली बट आई हैव टू शो यू समथिंग एक छोटा सा नॉट अ डैमेज बट स्मॉल स्क्रैच हैपेंड देर वॉज अ स्मॉल स्टोन विच आई कूडेंट सी देर अ स्मॉल ग्रेनेट विच आई कूडेंट सी एंड आई कैंड ऑफ लिटल बिट स्क्रेप्ड इन द फ्रंट विच यू कैंट सी बट द लकी पार्ट इज लेट मी शो यू सी दिस पार्ट दिस वन that small scratch luckily there is ppf hang out nothing happened the ppf kind of came out a little bit the stone was like this size i couldn't see it it's a blind spot then it kind of went under this scrape that part a little bit but still nothing happened and you know that is the reason you need two things one is insurance for sure i said scratches so forget it but bigger scratches and bigger damages definitely you need that more importantly you need a ppf in case you're getting an expensive car or any car for that matter which you really care about definitely get a ppf done it's a life saver now we i'll get that part removed and put one more ppf so that if in case something happens like this we'll be covered